Today we're diving into a lesser known, but pretty cool app that is called Amali. And not what you might think if you do a web search for this, add Signal to the end of that web search. And that's what this is. It's a supercharged version of Signal on steroids. And you might be asking, Henry, why do we need another messaging app? Why do I need this? Well, this is Signal. If anything, this is more of a Signal client, like an alternative Signal client that has some extra features and security improvements, which are some of the following. Local database encryption with a passphrase for extra security. So this is going to really help in the case of your phone gets stolen or if someone's trying to brute force into your phone and steal your data from Signal. Signal has not quite as robust protections as something that Molly might have. The two other Molly features that can improve security are it shreds RAM in the background and also it has something called automatic lockdown um, if you go a certain time uh, without unlocking your device. Now, these three things are not going to make or break the security of Signal. Signal's core goal is to protect your data in transit, and Molly doesn't change too much of that kind of security. What Molly tries to improve on is the security on the end device, aka your phone. There are quite a few features that Signal offers, a couple of which we'll touch on later in the video, but the two other big ones are automatic backups, which is super cool. You can set it to either daily or weekly. And something I like for censorship resistance is they have SOX support as well as Orbot support to connect to Signal instead of using Signal's proxies, which are overall pretty nice, but it's nice to give users extra flexibility. You might be wondering what the actual app is like to use, and it's extremely familiar. If you use Signal on Android, this is going to feel like Signal on Android. It has the same features, and you can really confirm that because you can send Henry sticker packs, you can enable stories, you can join group chats, voice memos, everything on Signal is the same, except those added features. Mostly. We'll talk about a couple things that are different later in the video. Now, my experience using Molly has been pretty good. And my favorite thing about it is probably the fact that you can set up Molly to be a linked device. So Signal by default um, really only allows you to set up a phone once on one device. And that is your phone. The only linked devices that you can use with an already established registered signal phone number are desktop devices, and the one little edge case device is the iPad, which Signal does let you pick if you want it to be a linked device or your registered device. Kind of like Molly, except Molly enables this on Android. So this enables a ton of crazy workflows where you can have two phones, like an iOS and Android device, and you can have the same Signal uh, account on both of those, which I know is very popular for people here who listen, who might have a, a business, or they might have a different reason to have two phones when they walk around with them. Now, not everything's perfect. I think my biggest issue with Molly is it can be a little bit buggy, and it's just a little bit rougher around the edges um, with the features that they bake in. So. For example, they change the app icon and you go here and if you change the icon, you'll see what the default icon is. But if you actually check what the icon is, <laughs> it's not the same icon. Um, but if you change it to something else, it actually changes appropriately. Not a big deal. But I would say something that's a bigger deal is I do stumble on random crashes. In fact, when I was trying to set up Molly as a linked device for this video, uh, it wouldn't let me. It was on an infinite loading screen and I opened GitHub and this is an open issue that other people are having as well. Probably not something long term because again, I used to use Molly and I used to use it as a linked device. But I just want to speak to the fact that you have a second party here. The second party not only has to take the features that Signal develops, they have to roll it into their own app and then they have to also implement their own features. So they are doing extra development. It's an extra party to trust and there are going to be inherent downsides to that. Okay, so you're watching this and you're going, eh, uh, who is Molly for? Is it for me? I think I've kind of grouped up the general people I feel like Molly uh, could be good for, uh, possibly, of course. Um, I think the first group of people is people who, for whatever reason, really need one of its security features. Uh, most likely, if there is a security feature you really need, it's going to be something like uh, it's a database encryption that's done locally. But even then, there are trade-offs because, again, uh, this is a third party that you're trusting now, and they might even fall a little bit behind with some updates from Signal. Not that it's been a problem too much in the past, but just be aware, this is not an official Signal client, nor do they claim to be. The second group of people is people who believe in the absolute uh, open source philosophy, and uh, we'll touch on this soon because it's actually a little bit complicated, so BRB with that. And the third group is people like me, who the biggest selling point of Molly is just the ability to add 
an extra signal device that's a phone. So that way you can have sig the same signal account on multiple devices. All of these people, and this is the big downside to Molly, all of those people uh, also have to be Android users. So uh, this is not something for iOS, not something for desktop, um, but the power that Molly provides you, uh, especially when it comes to linked devices, uh, kind of still enables a ton of really cool workflows. Now let's talk about you open source people because Molly uh, is not actually 100% open source. Fortunately, they have something called Molly Foss. So there's Signal, which uses push notifications through Google, or if you've ever used Signal without Google Play services, you'll know that Signal runs in the background constantly uh, to pretty much fetch updates. Molly does the same exact thing, the regular version. But Molly Foss only has the WebSocket. It's going to remove the Google FCM notification service. So it only uses the background service. Now, there is another version of Molly called Molly Up, but what that stands for is Unified Push. The Unified Push is an open source alternative to Google's uh, FCM, and pretty much uh, this would enable you to have essentially the privacy respecting nature of your WebSocket with a better battery life supplied by something like FCM. The problem with Molly Up is you're gonna to have to host the unified push end by yourself. So this isn't something that you just install and start using. That's why that's not in the default Molly or the default Molly Foss. You have to set it up yourself. Molly Foss and the Molly Unified Push both exclude Google Maps and instead use OpenStreetMaps. Molly Foss actually enables you to have a 100% open source version of Signal on your phone for people who again are uh, like all the way into the open source a system of belief. With all of that said, I think that what Molly's doing is really cool, it's really unique, and it pretty much uh, perfectly aligns with the philosophy of the open source movement. You don't like uh, everything about a certain tool, uh, fork it and make it better, and I think that's exactly what they're doing. They're taking features that people wish Signal had, and they're integrating it in their own way. And I can't be mad about that. I think it's a really cool thing, and for people who get use out of this, then you get use out of it. And if you don't, it doesn't change anything. You wouldn't even know if your contact is using Molly, because it's still gonna go through Signal. Definitely leave your questions, your feedback, and some of those experiences on our forum. It's open source, self-hosted by ourselves. You can join by just logging in with your simple login account. And what's really exciting is we actually have a private Signal group now. So if you wanna test out Molly, or you wanna test out Signal, or you already use them, but you just wanna join a community with other people on the platform, um, you can now join that by becoming a tech lawyer um, and joining a private exclusive community there. So yeah, private signal group down in the description, forum down in the description, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I wanna give a major shout out to our sponsor, Notesnook, as well as our patrons for making this kind of content possible. We just couldn't do it without all of these people who support what we're doing and make this kind of content a reality for all of you watching. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.